Hello class and welcome. Today we will continue with the theory you need to know about financial statements. Pause the video whenever needed. For this lesson you will need your textbook and your cash book. Topic quiz. Take a minute or two to answer the following on a separate paper or page in your exercise book to make sure that you understood the homework of the previous lesson. Number 1. Provide the formulas for the following. A. Cost of sales. B. Gross profit. And C. Net profit or net loss. Number 2. Distinguish between opening stock and closing stock. Pause the video now. Topic quiz answers. Number 1A. Cost of sales is equal to opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. B. Gross profit is equal to sales minus cost of sales. And C. Net profit or net loss is equal to gross income minus total expenses. Number 2. Opening stock is goods available to sell or goods on hand at the beginning of a financial period, while closing stock is goods available to sell or goods on hand at the end of a financial period. We will now look at important concepts you need to know for this topic. Accounting or financial period is a fixed period for which the final accounts are drawn up to calculate a profit or loss for the business. This period is always the same length of time for comparison purposes, but is not always from the 1st of January to the 31st of December. Financial statements Documents normally drawn up at the end of a financial period. Income statement and balance sheet. Important formulas you need to know. Cost of sales is equal to opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Gross profit is equal to sales minus cost of sales. Gross income is your gross profit plus other income. And lastly, Net profit or net loss is your gross income minus total expenses. We will now look at what an income statement is and how it is drawn up. The income statement is a document that shows the financial results or performance for a specific financial period also known as a statement of comprehensive income. This document uses nominal accounts. It calculates the gross profit, gross income and net profit or net loss of the financial period. The layout of this document is very important. We will now look at an example of the income statement. Go to page 92 in your textbook. Take note of the following. You will always receive a trial balance or a list of balances from which you need to drop your own trial balance. Additional information is always important. This is where you will find the value for closing stock, like at the top of page 93. Determine the date of the financial year end. This is normally given. And this date will be used in your financial statements headings. Net profit is when gross income is more than the total expenses of the business, while net loss is when the total expenses are more than the gross income. I will now illustrate how the different columns in the income statement work. The first column is obviously for details like in the trial balance. There is no for you column. The first amount column is for sub calculations of the totals and the last column is for totals and the main calculations. In this example, the calculation for cost of sales we all know is opening stock plus purchases less closing stock. This calculation you will see in the first column, where the answer is in the last column. 
then gross profit as we know from the formulas is sales less cost of sales next up we get the total of our other income that then can be used to calculate gross income by adding that same total to the gross profit and then lastly we get the total of our expenses this total is then subtracted from the gross income to give us the net profit or net loss remember if the expenses are more than the gross income the business made a net loss homework for your next lesson exercise 7.1 page 95 in your textbook only number one complete this in your cash book leave the next page open remember expenses have debit balances and income have credit balances stay safe